everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am only gonna be eating American fast food that I haven't tried before. I mean, I might be cheating at the beginning one slightly because I have had this in America, but I think it's gonna taste a little bit different here in the UK. Wasn't a huge fan when I tried it in America and it is Jollibee's. But before we get into this video, we've actually drove to Nottingham for this one because I came to visit Tanisha a couple of days ago and I had no idea how many amazing American fast food chains there were in Nottingham. Like for some reason, they've just picked this as the base to bring all the American fast food places. So I'm gonna do Jollibee's, Popeyes, and then we're actually gonna go to a Hooters restaurant and it's the only one in in the UK so I'm really 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 excited to go there because I haven't been to Hooters in years but I've already been to Jollibee's and I've got my food here so I hope you guys enjoy if you do please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that let's get started inside Jollibee's I have no idea what to get obviously I have had this in New York before and I think I just had this that is what Atticus told me to get but maybe we should go on something different let's go on what's new oh they got kids meals sriracha loaded fries that looks really good I might go for this one the solo oh obviously you're gonna get a coke where's that there we go and then add to order guys it is ridiculous heat i know i keep saying this in all my videos and i feel like my mum, but honestly i've never sweated this much in my whole entire life we didn't expect it to be like 27 degrees once we got to nottingham and we've parked near tanisha's and then like walked into town to go and get the food and we just walked all the way up a massive hill in blaring sun and oh my god i'm sweating but i'm so excited to try all this food so i got some peach mango pies but i have just realized they've actually given me two of these so i have a spare one now callum is also in the car by the way he's just Hello. off camera so callum might have one of those i will not you won't be having one of those. Oh my god, I've just realised I don't think they're giving me any knife and forks. So I'd love to know how I'm going to eat this. I got the Jolly Bees. Oh my gosh, look at that. Chicken and then pasta with meatballs and cheese on top. I mean, this looks a little bit better compared to what it did when I was in New York. In New York, Ascus was so excited to try it. And I was thinking, I like, I really don't know if I'm going to like this. Right, guys, I don't really have any cutlery, so I'm actually just going to have to pick up the pasta. Oh my gosh, that's so much nicer than the one in America. The one in America, I'm not gonna lie, was horrible. This is, oh my god. It's so weird because like, you can't ever get pasta on a like fast food menu. Like back in Manchester, there's nowhere where you can just go around and drive through or whatever and get pasta like this. But this is incredible. And the fact they put cheese on it as well. Mmm, can't really fully enjoy it because I don't have a fork to eat it with. So I can't put like more than one strand in my mouth at a time. That though is getting a solid 10 out of 10. I would 1 million percent drive back to Nottingham genuinely just to get this takeaway. Oh my god, I just want to be able to eat the full thing. Right, we'll find a fork from somewhere. Don't really know where, but let's try the chicken. Again, I wasn't really a fan of the chicken in New York, but this looks nicer here. I never thought I'd say that the UK actually has nice fast food. So I think American fast food is like top tier. Oh my god, it is so much nicer. Wow, that batter. Mm. Why don't we have one of these in Manchester? Oh my god, I can't believe how nice this chicken is. Like, genuinely, I'm glad I really wasn't looking forward to this one at all because I just thought to myself, it's not going to be very nice. But actually, this is a real contender to be one of my faves. Mm. You know what? Let me scoop some of the cheese up and the spaghetti onto the chicken. It might be a really bad idea, but there we go. The tomato sauce is so like rich and tomatoey. It doesn't taste like a cheap, like fast food tomato sauce. This is hands down getting a solid nine out of 10 from me. This actually might be one of my favorite takeaways that I've ever tried. I can't believe how like different it tastes compared to New York. That is crazy. I honestly thought it's just gonna taste the same. 10 times better here. Mm. I also just realized I did get this pot of gravy as well, but there's nothing to really dip into the gravy apart from the, the chicken. chicken. This might taste a bit like KFC gravy. You do it. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't smell. Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay, this is a big bit of chicken. Hang on. This actually smells nothing like kfc gravy it tastes like roast dinner gravy oh my god this gravy is insane it fully tastes like a roast dinner i think it's going to turn out of 10 now i've tried the gravy hands down jolly is going to turn out of 10 right let's try the peach mango pie again did try this in new york and i just don't normally really like stuff like this like i still haven't tried the mcdonald's double chocolate pie just because it sounds better than apple pie but i just don't really think i'm gonna like it but let's give this one a go the thought of it like i think it looks so nice so yellow. But look, Callum is giving this pie. It's terrifying. Oh, it's really nice. It's actually really nice. My taste buds must have changed since January. I think it actually does just taste nicer, but... Mmm, guys, Jollibee. It's getting a 10 out of 10. This was actually Atticus's recommendation. I hadn't even heard of it before we went to um, New York and he was going on about it like, guys, we need to try Jollibee's. Me and mum were like, okay, we'll try Jollibee's for you. So, grab we did. Solid 10 out of 10 for this one. Next 
next up we have got Popeyes. I've never tried Popeyes before, not even in America. Didn't even realize we have one in the UK until obviously, like I said, it came starting on the other day. I was walking through town and was like, oh my god, there's a Popeyes. Did get quite a lot here, I'm not gonna lie, because I got a little bit excited by the menu. So we've got a lot of chicken and a lot of sauces. Right, I've got the ranch style dip. They have loads of different dips to choose from. And then these are oh, these are the hot wings. So I can just try these without a dip. But I'm a massive fan of KFC hot wings. I think it's my favorite chicken to get from there. So I feel like these have a lot to live up to. Hmm. They're good. Don't know if I prefer them to KFC, but I don't hate them. They've definitely got like a solid spice to them that like hits your tongue once you swallow it. Okay, I don't hate them. They're not greasy. That is one thing I will say about this chicken. It doesn't feel greasy to eat at all. It feels like nice to eat. Then I've got two sauces here. I'm a little bit nervous about this one as well. I've got red hot honey. What possessed me to get that? I don't know. Oh, this is the mac and cheese. Again, I have no cutlery to eat this with, so I'm just going to have to eat it with my fingers. Oh my god, the pasta today is incredible. Oh my god, can't please try that mac and cheese. No, I don't like mac and cheese. You don't like mac and cheese? Mm. Okay, well, for mac and cheese lovers, this one is up there. For a fast food place as well. Mm. Oh my god, I need to stop eating it because I've got so much food to eat. Okay, let's move on. Then I've got here the fillet like pieces of chicken. Let's try the red hot honey. I really feel like this is going to make my nose run. I'm like with the heat today. Just don't need this. Shit, smell this. Jeez. Oh my god. What is that one? Red hot honey. I feel like that's probably going to blow my head off. That is insane. I don't even want to put much on. Mm. Okay. Don't know if I'm getting the honey necessarily, but it's not actually as hot on the chicken as it smells in the pot. She says until it hits your tongue, but not very spicy. Kind of a nice level of spice though, but I quite like spicy things. I would love for someone who doesn't like spice would like spit this sauce straight out because it does have like a kick to it. My nose is running really bad, as you can tell, but the chicken is lovely. I think I prefer KFC hot wings, but I think I actually prefer these fillet pieces which is big saying that because i love kfc right i'm gonna try the ranch style dressing now do you like it it's nice chicken in there not greasy at all i'm very much impressed mm. oh i love ranch mm. chips are good too actually we've got like a seasoning or like a coating on mm. i think i prefer the ranch ranch is such an american thing that no uk places really ever do this but love it Popeyes. it's getting eight out of ten for me okay then another really really american thing is they call this a biscuit but to me is a scone but it doesn't feel like as soft as a scone a scone scone i call it scone oh, i call it a scone me and my mum always call things really weird stuff but well, that's really controversial though isn't it what like, scone or scone yeah. okay comment down below what do you call this a scone or a scone or americans call it a biscuit but they actually did loads of these with different like sauces and stuff so i got the nutella one they give you like two little pots of nutella i love these every time i go to hotels and they give you um the little pots of nutella i think my heart's so happy i don't know why i think it's because it's in the shape of a little pot right again i can't cut this i have no cutlery so I'm just gonna have to dip it into the Nutella and give it a bite. Oh, it's hard. It's not a scone. It's like pastry, but no. I, can't, I really can't explain what that is. It's not giving me dessert, though. Like, Nutella's giving me dessert, but this is just a bit random and actually not very nice at all. But I feel like in America, you always get these with like every like in McDonald's, they always give you a biscuit on the side of every dinner. No idea why, but that's kind of knocked Popeyes down for me a little bit. So I'm going to give Popeyes a 7 out of 10. Their chicken tenders and the sauce options were incredible. And I really wish, again, we had one in Manchester. I think they actually have plans to open in Manchester, but they just haven't yet. But so far, the food in this video is probably. Probably some of the best fast foods I've actually ever tried on camera before. And we've arrived at our final place for today. I'm so excited. Tanisha is actually coming to meet us here in a second. But we're at Hooters. I did, in fact, get it wrong. Apparently, there is also one in Liverpool. But this was, like, the first ever one that came to the UK. But it looks so nice. Okay, here is the menu. So on the teaser section, it's very American, but they have lots of tots, which I think I'm gonna get because they look so good. They also do deep fried pickles, which sound amazing because I love pickles. So I might also get those. Got cheese sticks, fried jalapenos, buffalo shrimp. And then on the wings section, this is obviously what Hooters are like famous for. They've got the Daytona Beach style ones, the original Hooters style or the boneless. And I think I'm gonna get the boneless ones. And these are all the different sauces. I really wanna actually come here and film a video, try and like all of the hot ones so it goes up in like spiciness this is like the tamest one and then that's the really hot one don't think i'm gonna go for the spicy garlic i think i might get either the chipotle honey or the barbecue they also do steak ribs burgers fish and chips philly cheese steak oh and they do a hot dog as well but for like because i've come to tutors we have to get the wings i have never realized how pale i'm looking until i'm sat in front of a window like this but i am off on holiday on sunday so fingers crossed i'm gonna come back with even a slight bit of color compared to this but i have got my drink got coke obviously and we ordered the, the pickle gherkins or battered pickle battered pickle ordered those and we ordered the cake tops and chicken and quesadillas very excited next up we actually went to hooters but the sound in hooters was really 
really really bad because they had like loudspeakers playing like Rihanna on so you couldn't actually really hear me whilst I was talking but I ordered the loaded tater tots with sour cream melted cheese and bacon bits and then I ordered like fried pickles or like fried gherkins and then I ordered the barbecue boneless wings the fried pickles and all the fried gherkins whatever they are were insane I ever since I did the TikTok pickle challenge I fell in love with eating pickles and to have like the batter and the crispiness on it was so good it's almost like you know when you go to a fish and chip shop and you can order like a battered Mars bar or like a battered like chocolate bar it was almost that like same sensation it always shouldn't have batter on it but it tastes really good that it does then I had the loads of tater tots and they were insane that's my probably my favorite thing about going to America actually they always have tater tots everywhere it's like Taco Bell do them in America but they don't actually do them here in like a little pot with like tomatoes and cheese sauce and oh they're just so good and the wings I actually had chicken from every single restaurant that I tried I've just realized and that boneless wing was so good I really wanted to try the chipotle honey sauce but they actually didn't have it so I would love to go back and try that did actually find out there's a Hooters in Liverpool which I didn't realize which is a lot closer to me than Nottingham so if I do want to go back I'll definitely go to the one in Liverpool but yeah that chicken was a 10 out of 10 overall I would probably rate Hooters a 10 out of 10 experience just because Hooters has such a special place in my heart like I've been to so many cool ones in America I remember me and Tanisha who really was in the Hooters with me yesterday as well we went to one in Miami and it was almost on like a port like a dock and it overlooked all of like the incredible boats in Miami and we always said that was like one of our favorite memories together when we went there and then me and Saf went to a Hooters when we went to New York when we were like 17 so like six years ago so I feel like I have really nice like fond memories of that so like being back in one of the restaurants and eating the food just brought back a lot of like nice memories but yeah that is the end of this video I hope you guys have enjoyed I think it's just been nice to actually try some new fast food in videos for once because I feel like obviously living in Manchester we have so many amazing options but I do just try the same like food chains over and over again to get to try new ones like Popeyes and Jollibees and like Hooters here it was really really cool let me know if there are any other food chains that you guys know of in Manchester or like anywhere across the UK basically that are American because I really want to try them before I go back to America and then film the same video in America but I hope you guys have enjoyed if you did please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that I will see you very soon for a brand new video Mwah. bye